look at the projector physically and the overall build quality. Now there's no denying it, it's a big projector as you may be able to tell. Also it weighs quite a bit coming in a little under 10 kilos out of the box. The lens on the projector is mounted in the center and like the TK800 and the PXM47. I personally prefer having it mounted in the center. I find it slightly less of a headache aligning the image. Aside from the front IR sensor, nothing much else to talk about here. On the left side there's just a big cutout for venting and heat dissipation but on the right side you have a selection of buttons usually what you would expect to find on the top of a projector here it's integrated nicely onto the side so kudos to optima for their implementation i like it a lot two rows of three very narrow rectangular buttons followed by two larger buttons and two indicator leds as well coming around to the rear we find one times hdmi 1.4a one times hdmi 2.0 with hcp 2.2 connectivity basically ensuring that you're compatible with 4k devices like your blu-ray player we also have a little legacy in the way of a vga in audio input and output via 3.5 millimeter port we have an optical input a usb 2.0 port and a usb type a for power i.e to power your fire stick or your chromecast an rj45 input and you also get an rs232c and if you're wondering what that's used for is to connect a dte device like your computer to a modem and finally we also have a 12 volt trigger so a pretty comprehensive selection of ports what you would normally expect on a projector of this price point coming back around to the top of the projector you're going to see a split in the panel push on the center of the panel to unlock it and then you'll expose the focus wheel and the tilt shift dial i do like how it's hidden it looks quite minimalistic in the design the panel itself though however is pretty cheaply made but it's functional and realistically how often